right, so the class uh, reward tokens, every so many levels, you get a token. When you go to roll it, you're going to get a choice of three items, and the three items can be pretty much anything. I believe even named items can come through here. Um, legendaries, gold, chest, etc., whatever it may be. So we have a ton of tokens. In total, we have 218 tokens over the span of eight characters we're gonna go through and have some fun. So let's start with the first one here. This is uh, one of my mule characters. We're gonna go ahead. And this is the first time that I've used it all season. That's why I have 218. Let's go. Let's go. First one up. Absolutely garbanzo. All right, so we'll just choose whatever. Next one. Long sword, always like that. We're gonna go with the long sword. There it is, boom, this one's done now. I am going to move those two over there for now. We're going to go to TV six. This is the warlock. So I don't know if this is a thing, but the tokens on classes that I never played from last season, I had some additional tokens on them. I don't know if they meant for that. Either way, I had like 20 to 20. Always the center of attention. You okay? All right, chasing your tail. All right, 22 tokens, let's start. First up, Pendant. Nah, they're all bad. I'm gonna go with the Lace Turn Shoe though, because I like the movement speed with the decks. It's nice for Long Sword Fighter. Here we go, Tattered Cloak, Hatchet, or Crusader Helm. You know what, we're gonna go with the Crusader. I like the decks off of that as well. Agi decks, I believe. Doing another one here. Tattered Nasal Marauder Outfit. Uh, let's do Tattered Cloak, I guess. Dude, I like those lace. I like those lace, man. I like what I like, dude. Low boots, quarter staff, Crusader helm. We're going Crusader. All right, next one up. Runestone loot, occultist robe. Well, those all suck. So let's just oh, occultist robe. I don't even know if they use them. Heavy gauntlets, open salad, halberd. Uh... Uh, let's go the heavy gauntlet. So it was between that and the halberd. All right, we're rolling another one here. Leather bonnet, heavy gauntlet, Chris dagger. Let's go heavy gauntlets again. Okay, let's open this up again. Arm it, rugged, or stiletto. We're gonna go with stiletto. Fourteen left. Here we go. Chaperon, crusader armor, fine curious. Okay, chaperon and the curious are kind of bad. So crusader. Go with that. Arming sword, heater shield, or adventure cloak. We're gonna go with the adventure cloak. Regal Gambison, adventure tunic, or stiletto. Damn, I'm actually really intrigued as to what this adventure tunic could be. But I'm gonna go with the stiletto, I still think. I don't know, what do you guys think? Adventure or the stiletto? Yeah, adventure? Okay, I'm actually really confused, or really, uh, Intrigued by the, the adventure. All right, Northern Full Tunic, Shepherd, Adventure Tunic. Uh, do barbs run the Northern anymore? Uh, we'll go with Adventure anyways. Wizard Shoes, Leather Chassois. Let's do Chassois. Nine left. Loot, Chris Dagger, Longbow. This all kind of sucks, so let's just do the, the Chris Dagger. Smaller inventory. All right, on to the next. Rugged boots, flanged mace, lace turn shoes. We'll do lace. Seven left. What do we got? Mercurial, Chris Dagger, or Ring of Courage? Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe we go a little jewelry this time. A little courage. Could do the Mercurial. I think we're going to do the courage, though. I, I don't want to see a ring in there. All right, six left. Great helm, Viking helm. Or the Spangin. I'm gonna go with the Spangin. I use that a lot on my uh, Longsword Fighter. Warden Outfit, Joyhander, or the Armit. These are all absolutely atrocious. So I'm gonna go with just the smallest item, which is the Armit. All right, three left. Uh, Neck of Peace, Barbuda, or Double Axe. Also really, really trash. I don't think, maybe the Barbuda. I don't even know if Barbs go Barbuda anymore. Okay, here we go. We got Crusader Pavis and heavy gauntlets. Mm, I'm gonna go with the Crusader. 
I really like Crusader. The PC is nice because of the life. A lot of people want life. Ring of Vitality, Wizard Hat, Bardiche. Yeah, we'll go with the Vitality Ring. They're green. I'm not too worried about that. Heavy Gambeson, Occultist Boots, or the Magic Staff. I'm going to go with Occultist Boots. All right, so that one is done. Now we're going to summarize what's in here from this poll. So 1.5 movement speed. That's why I went with the Lace Turn Shoe. That's nice. Agility, Dexterity, the rolls are crap. Tattered Cloak, two strength, not really good rolls. Roll this, Agi Dex, max health bonus, physical damage bonus, and true magical damage. Not entirely bad. Okay for maybe the cleric side. Could still use it on the fighter. The max health, physical damage bonus, not too bad. Uh, the Occultus, bad. Casting speed, it's not bad. 0.8 action speed, I like that. On the Courage, 15 luck, it's whatever. Chris Dagger, meh. Stiletto Dagger, um, additional memory capacity, capacity bonus, and magical damage bonus. That's not bad, actually, if you're combining that with an orb. I think that that wouldn't be too, too bad. The ball, I mean. Huh. Oh, wait. No, stilettos for rogue. Rip. I'm uh, thinking Chris Daggers. Sorry. Bad rolls. Uh, physical damage. Armor rating. Interaction speed. Strength. Hmm... Nothing crazy. Dexterity, agility, max health. Adventure tunic. Uh, bad rolls, debuff duration, regular interaction. Magical damage bonus, bad. Uh, one vigor, not bad. 18 luck, memory capacity, meh. Meh. 19 luck, meh. Uh, bad rolls, interaction, duration bonus again. So really nothing super crazy. So we're gonna move on over. Barbuda's not bad. Yeah, the one strength, two max health. I should probably say that, but. Uh, TV6 is done. What's the next one here? 25 at TV1. Let's look. The Ranger. All right, let's go over to the class. Here we go. 25 rolls. Let's go. First one up. Champ armor. Leather bonnet or leather gloves? Ooh. It's between the champ or the leather gloves. I'm going to go with the leather gloves because I actually really like running this. Again, on my long sword, I like the decks from it. Champ armor could be good. The leather bonnet, I think, is kind of a wash. So let's just go with that. Um, wizard shoes, flute or laced turn shoes. I'm going to go with the laced. I like laced. Padded leggings, 300 gold or a visored Barbuda helm. Uh, you know what? I want to see... Ear rolls, I don't need the gold. I'm sitting on 30 plus K. Let's go with uh, padded leggings, I guess. Padded. Uh, 22 left. Shadow mask, wizard shoes, or Zabumafu. They're all kind of whatever. Could do the shadow mask. Doesn't really matter. 21. Champ armor, occultist hood, Barbuda. Uh, let's just do something different with the occultist hood. 20. Shadow Mask, Forest Hood, or Survival Bow. What do you guys think? I think Shadow Mask. I think I'm leaning towards Shadow Mask, Forest Hood. You know, maybe the Rangers want it. Druids, I don't know if they really roll them. I'm not as familiar with Druid. Survival Bow, kind of niche. Bards run them. Not many Rangers run them. This could be GG for Rogue or Warlock. So we're going to go with that. And we'll take a look at the end here. 19. Okay, here we go. Crystal Sword. Horseman's Axe or Northern Full Tunic. Now, I'm going to go with maybe the Horseman's Axe. Northern Full Tunics, I'm not sure if Barb's really run them anymore. They were super, super popular, like last reset or whatever. Crystal Sword could be good too. You know what? Let's go with Crystal Sword. Screw it. I'm going to go with the Crystal Sword. 18 left. Ranger Hood, Rat Pendant, or Kettle Hat. Uh... ranger hood okay come on give us something juicy leather cap vigilant or ring of courage i'm gonna go with the vigilant cloak courage could be good too but the cloak could be nice as well 16 left doublet frost rondel we're gonna go with the frost i actually don't mind that dex uh chest either mercurial 
crossbow, spear. Uh, hmm. Spear's kind of limited to just, uh, for the most part, rangers. Some fighters use a crossbow. You're not really going to run a blue crossbow unless you're in high roller. Let's just see what the mercurial is. Let's see. Should we try to sell? You know what? We haven't had a... Yeah, you're right. We haven't had a spear. Let's, let's take a look at a spear. 14 left. Crusader helm. Vigilant or champ armor? Uh, I'm going to go with the Crusader again, man. Uh, just because I can use this on my fighter. Worst case scenario. At least this season. Uh, ox pendant, arming sword, or ring of quickness. I'm going to go with quickness. 12 left. Ooh, here we go. Purple, gloves utility, plate pants, or cultist tunic. What do we think? You want to take a gamble on the plate pants? Utility, though. I think a lot of people have been using utility this season. I've seen quite a few people use it. What do you guys think? They're all kind of, I don't know. Uh, let's see what the plate pants are like, I guess. Uh, gloves of utility is with the interaction speed. A lot of people have been going high interaction speed, and especially in like high rollers and stuff. So I think that's why people will go with the interaction speed and then they try to get good rolls on the gloves. Personally, I feel like there's a lot of other gloves that I would rather have. But, I don't know. It depends on your kit, I guess. Ah, let's, you know what? Let's go for it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, 11. Flanged Mace, Horseman's, or Viking Sword. I'm leaning towards the Flanged Mace. Flanged Mace? Flanged Mace? I don't know. Horseman's Axe. I've seen some of the Barbarians run it this uh, season, but I don't think it's super popular. I think, like, Halberds and uh, stuff like that has been... Viking's not too, too bad. We're gonna go with the Flanged Mace. Alright, 10 left on this class. Ox Pendant, Chris Dagger, Quickness. We're going to go with the Quickness again. Down with the Quickness. Tattered Cloak, Mercurial Cloak, Heater Shield. Yeah, Bardiche with Horsemans. Yeah, both could have been good. Um, Tattered? Thinking Tattered? What do you guys think? You think so? Thinking Tattered. All right, let's do it. Crossbow. Quarter staff, heavy leather leggings. We'll go with that. Seven left. Oracle robe, salad, or finesse, dude. We got to do the finesse. We got to do the finesse ring. That could be nice. Nice little dex. Find curious loot or quickness. Let's go with that. Edgy ring, nice. Five left. Here we go. Back to back purples. Rondel, battle axe, and armor. Why do you got to do that to me? Why do you got to do that? I don't think anybody uses battle axes. Arm it, maybe? Or high PDR? Rondel could be okay. I don't know. I'm thinking... Maybe... I don't know. You can arm it. Kind of lean into an arm it. Uh, yeah, it could be really strong. Yeah... Other good rolls or not. Okay, we're, you know what? Let's do it. Let's make a little gamba on it. Four left. Leather Chassois. Splendid. Or Dark Curious. Let's do it with a Splendid. It's a will cape. We'll see how it goes. Three. Leather cap. Spell book. Yeah, let's just just spell book. Whatever. Two left. Heavy boots. Halberd. Or club. Should we try the Halberd? Those heavy boots could be nasty too, though. I think Halberd, though. What do we think, boys? What do you think? Thinking, thinking a halberd. Between heavy boots and halberd for me. I'm thinking we'll go with a halberd. We haven't, well, we haven't seen either of these, I guess. Mm, we're going to go to halberd. All right. Next one. Forest hood, rondel, or halberd again. Uh... Now I regret. I wish I got the heavy boots because then I could just do the halberd right now. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> let's just go with this. Okay. That is all the rules. Let's go on over and see what we actually got from this batch. Leather gloves. Okay. Kind of armor pens. Okay. Agi. Physical damage bonus is nice. De debuff duration. Not so much. Knowledge resourcefulness. 
That's bad. Uh, true magical damage for a green, not bad. Uh, two max health, magical damage reduction, it's okay. Magical interaction, meh. What do we got here? Ooh, those aren't too bad. These aren't too bad. Given the rolls, two knowledge, one agi, one action speed. I really like the action speed on it. Um, knowledge, I wish it was something different just for the fighter purposes, but I think those could be used. Uh, additional magic damage, memory capacity bonus, all right. Uh, ah, interaction debuff, not the best. Same thing, bad rolls there. Shadow Mask, two knowledge, 2.7 armor pen, and four magic resist. Not the worst, not the best, probably looking more on the warlock side. Uh, two magical power, one physical power. Not bad, Agi Ring. See this. Ugh, memory capacity bonus. Come on. Would have rather seen something different. Maybe some true fizz or something. But uh, magic resistance, physical healing. Magic resistance, okay. Physical healing, I don't really think that's that good. Uh, two bad rolls out of here. Memory capacity. Well, memory capacity, you could use it for, you know, maybe like a warlock or something that needs it. Maybe, uh... Maybe a cleric might like that. Bard, actually. Bard. Yeah, actually, that's not too bad. Bard. Both of these could be used for Bard. I totally forgot about the Bard. Okay, uh, Crystal Sword. 5.2 magical damage bonus. One magical healing. Not bad. Uh, the magical damage bonus isn't too bad. Um, Spear. Three physical power. 4.2 armor pen. That's not bad. Bad. Flange Mace. One additional weapon. Memory capacity. Debuff duration. Tattered Cloak. Three strength. Max health bonus 0. 0.9. And one magical damage reduction with buff duration. Kind of two washes on the rolls. 42 luck. Buff duration bonus. Uh, Armit. Memory capacity. That's terrible. Physical damage reduction and vigor though. Not too bad. Splendid Cloak. That was the will. Two memory capacity. Magical interaction. Meh. Uh, green spell book. Six magical damage bonus on a spell book. That's not bad given that it's a green. Six percent. Is that max roll? Uh, Halberd. Regular interaction speed, buff duration bonus, but three physical power. The three physical power is nice. The other two, man. Uh, what do we got? Oh, these are terrible in my opinion. Uh, armor pen's not too bad, I guess. 5.6, but the other one is uh, nasty. Okay. Uh, so there it is. That's the roll for the ranger. So let's go ahead and move these over. TV1 is done. I'm going to mule all of this onto the druid now. Oh, wait. Not over to here. Over to my fighter. Alright, what's the next least amount? Uh, TV4. This is a cleric. Alright, here we go. On to the cleric. On to the cleric. 26. Let's do it. First one up. Ooh, longsword, viking, or hand crossbow. I gotta go with the longsword. I'm excited to see what that one is. Uh, Salad, Heavy Boots, Shadow Mask. Uh, let's go Shadow Mask, I guess. 
Frost, Amulet, Recurve, or Viking. I'm gonna go with the Frost. True Fizz. Plate Pants, Padded Leggings, or Warden. I'm gonna go with Padded. 22 left. Champion's Armor, Rawhide, or Club. I'm gonna go with the Rawhides. Really like the Rawhides. It's nasty, it could be good for a whiz. Courage, Resolve, or Salad again. We're gonna go with Courage. 20. Ring of Courage, Low Boots, or Spellbook. I think we gotta go Spellbook, yeah? What do we think? I think I'm between Courage or Spellbook. What does chat think on this one? I'm thinking Spellbook. I still think I'm thinking Spellbook, though. Gotta do the Spellbook. Could be nasty. Alright, let's do that. 19. Gloves Utility, Finesse, Warden. We're gonna go with the Finesse Ring. 18 left. Splendid Cloak, Leather Chassois, Bardic. Uh, let's just do the Will Cloak. Could be good. 17, Morningstar. Uh, we're gonna go with Finesse again. Only green, though. Wander Attire, Heavy Leather Leggings, Padded Tunic. Padded Tunic could be good, but I'm gonna go with the Heavy Leather. Gold Coin, Morningstar, or Ranged. Uh, well, I guess we'll do a morning star. 14, those are all kind of bad. Old shoes, Barbuda, gloves of utility. Let's go Barbuda, I guess. 13, rugged boots, Chappelle or Rogue. These are kind of bad, dude, to be honest. Let's go with boots. Torque Soul, Occultist Hood, leather cap. Let's do with the uh, Occultist Hood. A lot of people playing uh, Warlocks right now. Magical healing on the hood. Forest, Frost, or Dark Leather Leggings. Dark Leather Leggings could be really good too. I think we're gonna go with the Frost Amulet though. True Fizz with some good rolls can always go for decent coin. 10 left. Bring a Survival. Gloves of Utility or Bardic Pants. You give me a epic of these ones, man? Come on, dude. I'm gonna go with the Gloves of Utility because I'm kind of intrigued to see if we can get a good roll on those. Bardic Pants could be good though too. Um, Might have a Bard screaming at me, I don't know. Monkey Pendant, Plate... Or Falchion. I'm gonna go with the monkey. I believe that's Dex, right? Eight. We go Gamison, Oracle, or Crystal Sword. Let's go with an Oracle. Uh, yeah, let's go with an Oracle. I like Wizards too. Seven Watchmen, Chris Dagger, Longbow. Eh. Longbow? Uh. Uh, yeah. All right, six left. Leather gloves, quarter staff, badger pendant. Do we want a will pendant or do we want leather gloves? What do we think, chat? Which one? Let's hear it. Badger or leather? I don't think I'm going to go with the quarter staff. Kind of a niche weapon. It was, it's had its popularities, though, for sure. Thinking for me, I'd probably choose the leather gloves, to be honest. Out of these two. Let's maybe go with that. Leather gloves. At least that way I can use them. Oh, here we go. The first legendary roll. We got short sword, loot, and visored. Barbuda helm. Boys, what are we going to choose our first legendary item to be? Let's see. What do we think? Not a really big fan of the short sword. Some people are. Loot, I don't think. So maybe the Barbuda. I don't know. I don't know how many people use barbudas there's a fighter helm short sword probably bigger market with it but i don't know uh, loot and then kill some <laughs> yeah with my bad uh my bad strumming we just go to the you know what i'm gonna go with the fighter because i'll end up using it i'm gonna use some of this gear for some kits tomorrow and we're gonna see how she goes so i guess we'll go with that it might not be the best choice here some people might be screaming for the uh short sword I don't think really the loot's needed, but that's fine. Four left. Let's do it. Chaparron. Dark plate. Lightfoots. Gotta go with the lightfoots. Three. Battle axe. Warhammer. Dashing boots. All of these are bad. I'm gonna go with the dashing. Two left. Straw hat. Longbow. Vigilant cloak. We're gonna go vigilant cloak. Last one on this character. We got a flanged mace. Straw hat or magic staff. Hmm. I think... Any one of these could be pretty good right now. Magic Staff, Bonk Wizards are pretty popular at the moment. Straw Hat, Bards, and Druids have been using them. And a Flanged Mace, not bad for the Cleric. 
Wouldn't use it on the fighter. I don't know about the druid. I don't know about druids. So I'm thinking either straw hat, magic staff. What would you guys think? Maybe the straw hat. I think I'm kind of leaning to the straw hat. I feel like magic staff bonk whiz is kind of a little niche. Thinking, I mean, you could do it for like heavy casts, but I'm thinking the straw hat. Let's go to the straw hat. That's what we're going with. Okay, let's look at what we got on this character here. Long sword, two physical power buff duration, armor pen, two of the three rolls being pretty good. Shadow mask, we got three max health and three armor rating. Eh. Frost amulet though, physical healing, projectile damage reduction. Is what it is. Uh, dex with armor rating. Strength and armor rating on the padded leggings. Not entirely bad. Not the best. Here we go. Uh, two vigor. Buff duration. Memory capacity. So the memory capacity on here is actually really good. Especially if you were, say, a wizard and you wanted to go, say, 10 spell with overload. Something like that. You need a ton of memory capacity. So that's not entirely bad. Buff duration bonus could come into hand. And having HP roll on that. It's not too bad. But... Um... Buff duration bonus is the worst out of the rolls. Uh, armor rating, additional physical, not a bad courage ring. Uh, true magical damage, 1% max health bonus. It's not a bad uh, roll for ring of finesse out of the rolls that it could be. Spellbook, let's see. 4.8 magical damage. Magical interaction is kind of a wash. 1.6 max health bonus, though. Two of the three pretty good rolls. Uh, rugged boots, strength, magical power. Eh. It's not bad. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, in two different ways. Uh, physical damage bonus, 2.3. Physical damage reduction. Heavy leather leggings, not too bad. Magical interaction is for like shrines, portals, runes, those types of things. 0.7 spellcasting speed. Barbuda Helm. One physical power, 2.3 physical damage bonus. Not a bad morning star. Hey, here we go. Uh, Will with true magical damage and 1.7 action speed. Uh, playing the longsword fighter, I'm a big fan of the action speed, but uh, obviously wouldn't be really able to use it. But someone that cared for that would be nice. Uh, true physical. Uh, we got the armor pen and magical interaction. Kind of a weird roll. Visored Barbuda. Let's see. We got mm, luck. Magical damage bonus. Awful. Physical damage reduction. Not bad. One additional magical damage. Okay, so this... Could be used for a... There is a Crystal Sword Fighter build going around right now. Um, because there's a magical damage. So if you're actually like stacking magical damage with a Crystal Sword on a fighter build, it's like... I haven't tried it out, but I've heard things about it. I feel like you could probably use that for this. But, yeah. Uh, cultist, uh, memory capacity, magical interaction, meh. Uh, gloves of Utility, 2 Dexterity, 3 Magic Pen. Magic Pen doesn't wait that hard unless things have changed. It's not a really good roll. Uh, 0.8 Spellcasting Speed, kind of a weird one. Uh, max Health Bonus, Physical Power, not bad Dex, honestly, Monkey Pendant. Uh, physical Healing, Buff Duration. Buff Duration, yeah. Uh, physical Damage Bonus, 2.9 and 3 Physical Power, not a bad Blue Bow. Not a bad roll at all. And leather gloves, what do we got? We got true physical damage, we like that. Physi uh, projectile damage reduction and two additional memory capacity. Kind of going a little two different ways. One defensive, one offensive melee, and then the caster memory capacity. Um, overall, not bad. That's definitely usable. I like the true fizz, though. Uh, Spellcasting speed, 2%. 2.5 magic pen, we just talked about the magic pen. 2% spellcasting speed with some life, that's not bad. Uh, dashing boots, 1.4 move speed on them. That's okay for what they are. Uh, oh, these are these. Ah, oh, man, too bad that buff duration bonus wasn't different. That two agi roll on the life foot boots, fantastic. One percent physical damage bonus. If that buff duration bonus was additional move speed or like move speed percent, or even the physical damage bonus changing, like if that buff and physical damage bonus was plus move speed and percent of move speed, oh my god, that would be disgusting. Uh, straw Hat, one additional memory, uh, physical damage reduction, and five magic resistance. Okay. Okay. That were the rolls there. Bring everything over.
was TV4. For Smite Cleric, eh? Alright, so the next lowest one is TV3. Which is the Barbarian. So let's go ahead and do that. Check the stash. Looks good. Thirty-one rolls. Let's do it. Plate boots, hand crossbow, padded leggings. What are we feeling? We could take the gamba on the hand crossbow for the rogues, or we could do the padded leggings. I'm kind of leaning towards the padded leggings. Plate boots, boots could be good. I don't run PDR fighter that much though. The hand crossbow would be a big gamba to do, but I'm thinking between padded or plate boots. What does chat think on this one? I'm a little torn. What do we think? How are we feeling about this one? Mmm, padded leggings, plate boots. I feel like the... I'm feeling padded, maybe. Uh, clanky boots, I don't always like. 30. Alright, recurve, great helm, ring of vitality. Let's just go with that. Uh, Zabumafu, studded leather, or old shoes. Let's go with a studded leather. Let's just see what the studded's are. 28, it's green anyways. Plate pants, dashing, or northern full tunic. Uh, I feel like dashing really has to have really good rolls for people to want to go for it. And people aren't going with the northern full tunics. I feel like I might take the gamble on the northern full tunic right now. Maybe boots. I don't know. I really like boot rolls. If the boot rolls are good, like, it's nasty. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm thinking dashing. I really like boots in general. You know what? I'm going to go boots because then I can use it on any character. They're all kind of meh. But we'll go dashing for now. All right. Let's see what this next one. Uh, ranger, crossbow, crystal sword. You know what? Let's go with ranger this time. We could go with the crystal sword, but meh. Warden outfit, light foot or liar. We're going light foots always. 25. Troubadour, felling or Chris dagger. We're going to go with the felling axe. The wanderer's attire would be the next up. Padded tunic, vigilant or troubadour. Okay, we got a epic roll here. What do we think, boys? First, I'm like, you know what? That padded, I kind of want to see. But vigilant, honestly, could be nasty. I think vigilant. We got to go vigilant here. What do you guys think? You think Vigilant? Troubadour is, you know, it's limited to one. Vigilant can go to anything. Padded Tunic is not a bad. It's like, what, minus seven move speed or something? The top of my head. Um, let's try a Padded. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good rolls on that Padded. 23 left, Ring of Vitality, Adventure Boots, or Wind Locket. Uh, Vitality I normally go, but I'm going to go with the Adventure Boots. I like the Dex Boots. 22. Studded Leather, we got Ox Pendant or Dashing. I'm going to go with the Ox. 21 left. Warden Outfoot, Dashing. Can you stop giving me fucking Dashing Boots? Uh, Light Gauntlets, I'm going to go with. 20. Riveted, double, bardic, honestly doesn't matter. We're going to go riveted though. 19. Come on, let's get a chest. Visored, hatchet, or bardic. Ugh. Okay, so... Can we just re-roll this one or... <laughs> bardic or visored? What do you guys think? Maybe the bardic pants? Do... I don't know enough about bards, man. To know if they want bardic pants or do they go leather chassois for the knowledge? Bardic pants are bad? Okay. Well, let's go with a salad, I guess. 18, they're all kind of bad options. Spear, occultist tunic, hound skull. We're gonna go with the spear. 17, oracle robe, straw hat. Loves a utility. We're gonna go straw. We're gonna go straw. Battle axe. Torque of soul reinforce. We're going reinforce gloves. 15. Chaperon. Chapelle. Riveted. We're gonna go riveted. 14. 
Crystal sword, ranger hood, lace turn shoe. We're going lace turn shoe. I love those. Doublet. Flanged. Mercurial. Ooh, so we got the dex cloak or the dex doublet. What do we think, chat? Do we go with the cloak or do we go with the doublet? I'm thinking the doublet, man. I kind of want to see what an epic doublet's going to roll. Kind of liking it. Let's do it. 12 left. Arbuda. Ornate. Padded tunic. Uh, Barbuda's dex, right? Padded could be good too. It's... Um, we're going to go padded tunic. I think that's a smarter roll. Uh, feathered hat, flanged, Zabumafu. Uh, uh, let's go flanged. Here we go. Barbuda, hound skull, hand crossbow. They're all bad. Let's go Barbuda, I guess. Battle axe, Templar, arming. Do we do Templar? It's a will chest, though, right? Templar? No, uh, they want Crusader or some shit. Maybe the arming sword? Templar or arming? I mean, this could be... This could clap, though. Templar armor could be nasty. The arming is pretty decent, too. Battle Axe is kind of a wash. Uh, hmm, I'm torn on this one. Like, right in the 50-50 feels for this. God, help me out. What are we doing? Who's buying arming swords? Hey, dude, chill, man. Damn. Okay, fine. Go with this. I feel all conscious. Okay, rapier, finesse, zabumafu. Uh, you know we're gonna go with the, fin you know rapiers could be really good. I don't know. Ooh, you know what? Mm. I really like the finesse rings though. I'm gonna go to finesse ring still. All right, seven left. Frost amulet, crystal sword, arming sword. We're gonna go with the frost. Truth is, wind locket, morning star, and grand. What do we think? Grand? Grand, maybe? I think the morning star? Freestyler. All right. Morning Star is pretty good, though. You're not wrong. I'm just kind of curious what this might roll. Screw it. We'll do Morning Star. Five left. Let's do it. Turn Shoe. Wind. Mystic. Oh. Uh... How many people actually use Mystic Gloves? As a whiz, I never do. I always use Rawhides. As a Cleric, like, maybe. I still think that maybe the Turn Shoe instead. You think Mystic? Really? Only Clerics? Warlocks don't use them? Who is Lace Turn Shoe? Yeah, I get it, but, like, in comparison. Screw it. We're gonna do Boots. <laughs> Rock, uh, dark leather, adventure tunic. Let's do adventure. Three left. Longbow, club, shadow mask. We're gonna go shadow mask. Two left. Riveted, cloth, chaperon. Uh, I actually don't mind cloth sometimes. I think riveted is the better play here, though. Do you think cloth pants? We do have a few riveted rolls. No cloth pants rolls. Could do that just to mix it up. You think so? Ah, let's do cloth pants just to be wild. All right, last roll. Leather, Zweihander, Shadow Mask. I think I, ooh. Shadow Mask or Leather Gloves? What do we think, boys? I... For the fighter, want leather gloves. The shadow mask is pretty banging. You think of the leather gloves? I think the leather gloves are exciting. 
You personally wouldn't do leather gloves. We got a bit of a 50-50. I'm going to do it because then I can use them. All right, here we go. Let's check what the rolls are. Padded leggings, 1.7 action speed. I actually really like that magical power and the magic interaction speed. It's kind of meh, but the 1.7 action speed, I really like that on the padded. Probably use those tomorrow. Uh, one additional magic damage, additional physical and 0.9 max health on this finesse ring. I like that. True physical and max health would be probably this scenario, I would imagine. And then uh, true fizz with spell casting speed debuff duration. Spell casting speed is fine. Mm, but yeah, debuff not so much. Uh, buff duration, no. Okay, dashing boots with four additional move speed. So that puts it at 10, basically light foots with some magic resist. And then three armor rating and 0.5 physical damage reduction. Honestly, out of the rolls, not a bad setup for the dashing boots. Uh, one additional magical for ranger armor rating, honestly, kind of a wash. Uh, oh, these are nice. That ox pendant, three physical power, 1.2 action speed. I really like that ox pendant. That is a nice ox pendant. Very nice ox pendant. That's a nice one. I'll use that on the fighter for sure. Uh, Flange mace, 1.8 uh, magical damage bonus, one physical power. Added tunic, we got resourcefulness, three physical power, 1.1 projectile damage reduction. Could be better, could be worse. Could be better, could be worse. Yeah, minus seven on the paddock. Added, I was curious about that. Lightfoot, uh, two magical power, 0. 0.6 match, max health bonus. Not bad. Could go for um, some casters. Gives them a little bit of life, a little bit of magical power and fast movement speed. Uh, light gauntlets, one additional memory capacity and 0. 0.8 max health bonus. Is what it is. Maybe cleric or something. I like the max health bonus rolls though. Those are nice. Um, or like max health in general. Max health is really, really nice too. Depends on how much health you have. Uh, resourcefulness and regular interaction on these adventure boots. Kind of a wash on that roll. All right, over to here. Uh, Felling axe, armor pen, and buff duration bonus. I mean, if you're buff ball, maybe not too bad, but uh, riveted with two decks. Ooh, I like those actually for green gloves. Three strength, two decks. That's good. Uh, the salad, we got one will, 1% 1 debuff duration bonus, and one additional magical damage. Ugh. Spear, what do we got? Uh, Garbanzo, regular interaction speed and debuff duration bonus, kind of a wash. Armor pen at 4.1. That's kind of the only roll that's good. Straw hat, memory capacity bonus, and spell casting speed. Not bad. Or blue. I mean, if you need the extra cap, I suppose, with some spell casting, sure. Um... Max health at 0.8 and one additional physical for uh, reinforced gloves. Not bad. Use those for sure. Okay, Morningstar. 2.1 physical damage bonus with one additional weapon damage. And then it's got 3.8 uh, buff duration bonus, rather. You know, if that buff duration bonus was something different, that could be pretty sweet. Overall, not too bad, I would say. Uh, 50 luck. I think 50 luck might be max roll and one physical power on the padded. So maybe use that for like a luck set. Double it. Let's see. We got one physical uh, healing, 1.2 physical damage reduction, and six armor rating. Uh, could be better. Could be better. Um, but I'm going to use this on the fighter tomorrow for sure. I like doublets on it. I like high attack speeds. So I'm a fan of uh, playing the longsword fighter with high attack speed because... Honestly, the movement reduction that you get for every swing is kind of annoying, so the faster you can get through that process, the better. Uh, Lace turn shoe with two knowledge and three armor rating. Um, not too bad. I mean, it could be used, definitely. Uh, more on the caster side, maybe. Uh, okay, uh, we got riveted gloves with one true physical damage and 0.9 casting speed. Definitely uh, valuable there. Do decent rolls. Uh, 0.8 max health bonus, Barbuda, it's whatever. Uh, what do we got? Leather gloves, two physical power, 0.6 physical damage reduction, and 2% armor pen. Not bad overall. Could tweak it a little bit. I would probably swap the physical damage reduction for like true fizz, maybe, but overall, not bad. Not bad. Templar armor. Let's see here. 
I'm kind of in the way. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Uh, 2.6 debuff duration bonus, honestly kind of washed. Three additional memory capacity. Not bad to offset the no knowledge. And 13.2 regular interaction speed, honestly kind of a shit roll. Uh, turn shoes with the magical power and magical interaction speed. Eh, not the best either on there. Uh, Adventure tunic, we got two resourcefulness, 1.1 magical damage reduction, kind of a bad roll. Uh, 3% magic pen, again, magic pen I don't think is weighted too heavily across the board in the game. Maybe it was changed, but my last knowledge that, that was the case. Uh, two magical power, uh, not bad, could be used more on the warlock side. Uh, actually, the rogue can use this for magical power if they were going, like, it's kind of a niche build. Um, but rogues can go with, like, uh... Poisoned weapon and stuff like that. And so that tick damage, if they get their magical power up and then additional magic damage stacking, it'll uh, do a decent amount of damage over a course of time. But uh, people typically pair that with maybe like a um, poison weapon with like rupture, and you could even do it with like a weak point or you know, cutthroat, something like that. So uh, cloth pants, though, 1% max health bonus. Good, uh, happy with that one. The memory capacity at 9.7. Maybe not so much, but that four decks is really, really nice. So that's all the rolls on the Barbarian. Go ahead and move these over. TV3 is now done. I'm gonna grab this all over here. So the poison scales very badly with will and power. It's the true add uh, damage that you want. Yes and no. You wanna get your magical power to at least zero because then you're getting minus on the additional magic that you're stacking. Unless something has changed, you wanna make sure that the rogue is at magical power at least zero. Otherwise, if you're minus 10%, whatever you stack, you're losing 10% of that damage. So you don't stack it necessarily, but as soon as you hit zero, then it's like full true magic, full add magic. I don't know if it's the same before, but... Uh... Wait, I did this backwards, dude. I did this kind of backwards. I was gonna put it all out on here. Oops. I have to move this again. to move this stuff over. Wait up my trip and it I am tripping. I am tripping. I am hard tripping. I can still getting used to the shared stash tab, bro. Okay, what's the next one here? 35. Okay, we got three more characters left, which total about a hundred more rolls. The TV, which is the rogue. I think super GG now. Okay. Here we go. On to the rogue. 35 rolls here. 
Again, just to recap, 218 tokens are being rolled right now. We're just over the halfway point. We have about 100, 110 left. So we're um, just going through here. If you're just tuning in, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, feel free to check out our YouTube. We're going to have a summarization video on this on YouTube. We're also going to roll all of our um, uh, gold and silver tokens. Um, and maybe we'll do that in... Maybe we'll do a video on that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just probably do it live here on stream. So here we go. 35. First one up. Let's do it. We've got Ring of Wisdom. Survival. Or Gloves of Utility. I'm going to go with the Wisdom Ring. I like that. Next one up, Ox Pendant and two Occultist. Uh, well, we got the Tunic and the Robe. Which one do the, uh, just out of curiosity's sake, which one do the Warlocks prefer? Out of Tunic and Robe. I do not play a Warlock at all. I hate them. Uh, I'll probably roll the Pendant, but I'm just kind of curious. Neither? Where do you guys normally go? We're going to go with the Pendant, but what do you guys normally go? To be the Robe? Used to be the robe. Okay. Do you do the will? Or robe with plus knowledge? Or used to be? Okay. We're doing the strength. All right. Hatchet, adventure tunic, feathered hat. We're going adventure tunic. 32 left. Feathered hat, uh, nasal hem, monkey pendant. We're going to go monkey. Horseman's Axe, uh, Top Helm, and Windless Crossbow. Uh, let's go Horseman's. We were talking about it before. It seems like uh, Bardiche with Horseman Axe. A lot of Barbarians going. Uh, hand Crossbow, Bardiche, speaking of. Loose Trousers. We're going to go with Loose Trousers. Loose Trousers are almost always in demand. Adventure Boots, Shadow Hood, Phoenix Choker. I'm between the Adventure Boots or the Phoenix Choker. We haven't had a Phoenix Choker. Let's go with it. 28 gold coin short sword rawhide we're going with rawhides uh feathered hat wind or dark plate armor honestly all kind of a wash but i'm gonna go with dark plate because i'm gonna use it make a pdr okay here we go we got a drum we got fox pendant or a heater shield we're gonna go with fox pendant fox pendant edgy salad Leather or gold coin. We're going to go with the leather cap, I guess. 24 left. Dork of Soul. Horseman's Axe. Occultist Boots. We're going Occultist Boots. Love them. Occultist Boots is honestly hard to beat when it comes to like a wizard, in my opinion. Occultist Hood. Zweihander or Low Boots. What do we think? Occultist Hood? Probably. I'm going to go with the Occultist Hood. I'm going to make an exact decision. 22 left. We've got the Pavis Navida, The Flute or the Top Helm. We're going to go with that. The Helm. 21. What do we got? We got Dashing, Torque of Soul, or Mercurial. We're going to go with the Mercurial. Riveted Gloves, Hatchet, Padded Leggings. We're going to go with the Riveted Strength Gloves. Mystic Vestments, Splendid Cloak, or a Spear. This one I'm a little kind of flatlined on. Should we try to Mystic Vestments? We already have a Splendid Cloak in uh, the class rolls here. Maybe go for a Mystic just see change it up here what do we think we could use splendid cloak on multiple classes mind you this can hit all the classes that it's kind of relevant on so you know what let's go with the mystic i'm gonna go with the mystic 18 left adventure tunic zabumafu or vigilant cloak Ooh, adventure tunic i gotta go with adventure tunic man i love rolling those uh halberd heater shield lace turn shoes gotta go with the lace turn shoes that is an epic roll we'll see what that goes to morning star badger pendant or the falchion uh, thinking maybe between Morningstar or Badger. Uh, you know, mm, mm, uh, we're going to go with the Badger. 15. Salad, Zweihander, or the Doublet. We're going Doublet. Windless Crossbow, Heavy Leather Leggings, or the Ornate. We're going Heavy Leather Leggings. Let's see what those roll, those epic... Chapelle, the fur, buckled, or heavy gauntlets. We're going to go with heavy gauntlets. Next one up, 12. Occultist, salad, or stitched turn shoe. Uh, I'm going to go with the shoes, I guess, on that. Straw hat, fox pendant, or the salad. We're going to go fox. Uh, the other option would probably have been straw. Uh, leather chassois, spell book, or round shield. I'm going to go with the spell book on that. Nine left. Shadow Mask, Chapelle de Fur, or Runestone Gloves. We're going to go Shadow Mask on that. 
Eight. What do we got? Rawhide, Crusader, or the Spangin' Helm. I actually like all three of these. All three of these. Chat right now. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. What are we going to go with? I like all three. Crusader armor, pretty good for the clerics. Rawhide, always in demand for the casters. And uh, I use Spangin' Helm a lot on my fighter as well. So that's what I'm thinking. One, two, or three in the chat. Let's hear it. Any preferences? Any preferences? Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's always that one guy. There's always that one guy that's like, ah, I'm gonna go with 69 420. Okay, well, let's go. You know what? I'm gonna go with the. Mm, I really kind of curious about the Crusader, too. You no, know I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with the Spangin' Helm. Honestly, Agi Dex rolls is really nice. Four means, too. I'm sorry, dead girl. I vetoed. Seven. Let's see. Frost Amulet. Quickness, Zubumafu. Ooh, I think Frost. Agi rings are nice, but true fizz, man. True fizz is true fizz. Like, it's hard to beat that. Uh, six, round shield. Uh, we're gonna go with the owl. That's a knowledge pendant. Five left. We got bear, a uh, necklace of peace, or a cultist. Damn, these are three good rolls, too. Bear, uh, which is HP. Um, necklace of peace, which is also max max health rolls, and then you have occultist boots. I really love occultist boots on the wizard. Good rolls could be nasty. Do we think peace though? A lot of people run in peace. I mean, all three of these could be nasty, dude. What what sells, Tom? What sells on average? We thinking one, two, or three boys. Uh, if it only has move speed rolls, hey. Mm, I'm gonna go with occultist boots because I think even with crap rolls, boots can be good. Like they'll be used no matter what. All right, that's what I'm going with. That's my reasoning. Dark plate armor, wizard hat, or a rondel dagger. Uh, DP or whiz. I could. Stock up on some PDR stuff. Use this on my fighter if I wanted to. Wizard hat could be pretty nasty too. Rondel dagger I think is a wash. Uh, uh, let's try wizard hat. We haven't had one in the mix yet. Uh, three left. Loose trousers, battle axe, or shadow hood. That's an easy one. That's loose trousers. Spear, quickness, Chris Dagger, easy one, quickness. Last one on this character is a Watchman cloak, stiletto, or riveted gloves. Oof. Okay, so the Watchman is out. Stiletto dagger, obviously really good. It's only limited to the rogue, but I honestly am leaning towards the riveted gloves. If the rolls are good on a riveted glove, they go for a lot of money. So I think I am going to say riveted gloves. So that's what we're going to do gonna go on over to the stash here and take a look at our rolls ring of wisdom okay five armor rating magical healing and physical damage reduction not the worst could be a lot better though uh still usable okay interesting ox pendant with true magical damage and 1.7 spell casting speed definitely a strength caster amulet interesting could probably use this on a few different classes Adventure Tunic. Two strength, three additional memory capacity, 1.3 physical damage reduction. Could have been better rolls. Kind of all over the place a little bit. Oh, well. Uh, dexterity with true magical damage. The will with buff duration bonus and physical power. Physical power is like... It's kind of a step in the right direction. Buff duration bonus, not a big fan. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice fox pendant. Three physical power, one true fizz damage. Fucking mint. Mint. That's a good roll. I like that one. Decent rolls for a blue anyways. That's like... Uh, I'm not sure what else you would want on that. Maybe... Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. That's good. Like maybe move speed or something? Can move speed go on penance? I can't remember. 
Uh, Horseman's Axe, Magical Healing, Max Health Bonus, Max Health Bonus, good. Magical Healing, not so much. Loose Trousers, 3 Magical Power, 1.5 Physical Damage Reduction. Not bad, could use this um, with like a Warlock or something, maybe. Um, okay, Phoenix Choker, 2 Magical Power and 1.5 Casting Speed. Not bad, that's usable for sure. Fox Pendant, here we go. 3.3 .3 Armor Pen, 3 Max Health, and 2.9 Magic Pen. So the Magic Pen kind of being a full wash. But the first two rolls... Usable. Uh, Dark Plate Armor 2 Strength, 1% Casting Speed. Eh, kind of weird. Uh, buff Duration Bonus, Wash, 3 Magical Power, D, Slow. All right, Frost Amulet. Ugh. Okay, it's kind of all over. Debuff, I just don't like seeing buff or debuff duration a lot of the time. Kind of a niche build if you're actually like focusing on that stuff. 1.4 Spell Casting Speed and then 2 Max Health Bonus. Kind of splitting and going uh, both different ways. Chat says, no more move speed on jewelry anymore. Okay. Uh, so the max health bonus, 2%. Pretty good. 1.4 spell casting speed. Uh, definitely, like, usable. 3 true fizz is always strong, though. So it'll move. Um, magical damage reduction, magical power, and max health bonus. Kind of mid. Uh, what do we got? Occultist, 2 strength, 0.6 casting speed, 4 armor rating. Could have been better, but uh, usable. Got the magical healing occultist hood, what most warlocks are going for. Uh, occultist boots, though, one strength, 6.4 magical interaction. Uh, this was kind of a wash roll, three magic resist, leather cap. Uh, Mercurial cloak. Um, The max health bonus, yeah, 2% is a nice roll on the frost. Definitely, I just wish the other two were nice, right? What I get really excited for is like when out of the potential rolls, it's like... The rolls I would like to have on my gear. And uh, it's kind of like this one. Three Fizz Power and one True Physical on a blue pendant. Like, that's a good one. I, I think the three Fizz Power is max and one True Fizz is max. So, uh, Okay, so Mercurial. Uh, one additional physical damage. Uh, 0.5 magical damage reduction. Usable for sure. Could have been a little bit better, but honestly not bad. Uh, what do we got? We got 3.2 buff duration bonus and one magical power riveted. Uh, okay, Mystic Vestments. Um, it's got two knowledge on it. I like that roll with the will because normally I like to go with an Oracle robe for the uh, additional um, casting speed or memory capacity. The physical healing, kind of a wash. Would have rather have seen something else. But I do like the two knowledge. Uh, Adventure Tunic, two resourcefulness, three magical power. Kind of a, a niche one, but um, a lot more people running resourcefulness uh, lately for like interaction and whatnot. Lace Turn Shoe, what do we got? Okay, I would have rathered a different roll from that luck. That vigor, though, is nice. Movement speed on that. If that luck was movement speed, that would have been pretty banging. Magic resistance at three. It is what it is. Um, still usable. Okay, these are nice. I like this. Two vigor and 2.5 physical damage bonus on this doublet. The rare. I like, I like those. I'll use those for sure. I'm excited to use that one tomorrow. Uh, Spangin' Helm. Am I blocking it? Nope. Uh, regular interaction, three armor rating, meh. Uh, buff duration, physical damage bonus is nice. Buff duration, meh. Um, but I do like the decks on those gloves. The cultist, these were the ones that we were contemplating. Kind of some low rolls. One strength, I think two is max. Uh, one max health, six is max, I believe, on that. And 2.1 memory capacity, not bad. Again, kind of going back to that wizard if you're running maybe... Uh, Maybe they, uh, you were running uncapped normals or you're running high roller and you're running 10 spell with um, uh, with uh, spell overload or something like that, maybe. I don't know. Um, what do we got here? Shadow Mask, projectile damage reduction, one additional memory capacity and 0 0.7 action speed. That's usable. It is an epic. Uh, max health, five on a green spell book. That's really, really good. Um... If you're running kind of uh, 124 kits or something. What do we got on the heavy leather? Two decks, one knowledge, 5.7 buff duration. Honestly, I would have liked to see the knowledge and the buff duration be something else. Those two decks, really nice on those. Probably run those tomorrow too. Uh, see, you want something like this on the on the boots. Like a percent to move speed. Can You can double roll it, right? You can double roll like additional move speed and move speed percent. So when you have that... Com Compounding, it's really strong. Um, action speed, half a percent, 15 luck, kind of a whatever wizard hat. 
physical damage reduction and magical damage bonus. Um, again, maybe a caster build, high mobility, something like that. Uh, agility, projectile damage reduction. Uh, what were these? Dang, unfortunate. Memory capacity, magic pen, and regular interaction speed. Honestly, these three are kind of bleh. Bleh, rolls. All right, that's the rogue. Let's go ahead and put it in the shared. Not the best of rolls so far. Not the best of rolls so far. A little disappointing. All right, so that's all over there. That was uh, TV. Okay, so we got two more in total, 77 rolls left. So the next one is gonna be, uh, you know you know what? I'm gonna do the whiz first. We're gonna do TV2, there it is. All right, so on TV2, we got 40 rolls, 40 rolls. This is the highest amount of rolls that we have for a character. Let's start it right now. Gold coin bag! Woo! Look at that, huh? Oh, but we got some options. We got the rogue cowl or the Zweihander. What do we think? Do we go with the gold coin bag? I think we go with the gold coin bag because that's just sick, right? That's just sick, dude. Could go with the rogue cowl, but I, I definitely think out of these two, if it was maybe something different, maybe I would take the gamma. But gold coin bag, honestly, pretty cool to get. There it is. Boom. Wicked. Let's get a chest. Not quite. All right, I'll call this pants. Fox Pendant, old shoes. I'm gonna go with the Fox Pendant. 38. Okay, we got Viking Sword, Salad, and a Crystal Sword. Oh, man. I'm gonna go with, uh, I guess, Crystal Sword. Uh, Rapier, Ring of Resolve, and Double Axe. I don't think too many people are running Double Axe right now. Rapier or the Resolve Ring? What does chat think? One or two, what do you guys think? Rapier or the Ring of Resolve? Hmm. Both could be really, really good. So I think it's kind of just dependent on the rolls, really. I haven't seen too many ring of resolves, though. Maybe we take the swing on that. I think we maybe do that. I'm going to go with the ring resolve. I mean, I don't know. Rapier is always in high, high demand, though. Not everybody's looking for a will ring. I mean, they are, but they are not. You know what I mean? You know what? Maybe the rapier. I'm thinking the rapier. Yeah, let's do it. All right, 36 left. Oh, the, yo, the wizard's giving me some rolls here. Studded, ring of resolve, and plate pants. Unfortunately, I'm not really certain I want to go any of these. Maybe the studded leather. Taking the studded leather over the ring of survival. Um, 35, Viking helm. Uh, honestly, these are all kind of busted. I'm just going to go with Viking helm. Just for minimal inventory space uh warm all pavise or wizard hat uh nobody really runs warm alls anymore do they they go with the wizard hat 33 chris dagger dashing boot survival bow come on maybe a chris dagger for the warlocks dashing boots are just kind of weird they need really strong rolls Survival bow. I mean, I could do a survival bow. I don't, I don't know how in demand they are. Tom, what do you think? Chris Dagger? In terms of, like, selling something? What do you think? Chris's poop? Alright. Maybe the dashing boots, then. I mean, survival bow could be decent. I don't know. Pretty much bards running survivable. I'm gonna go dashing boots. That's what it is. Neither good or bad. Okay, here we go. We got legendaries. Oh, loose trousers for sure. For sure, legendary. Loose trousers. Interested to see those rolls. All right, let's look. Necklace of peace, ring of resolve, and ox pendant. I think I gotta go. What do you think? Peace? Do we go peace roll? Take the gamma on the peace roll? Maybe a little bit of life roll or something on it? What do you think? 
It's either that or Ox, I would say. Ox could be good with the strength. Ring of Resolve is Will. Uh, you know what? I haven't done a peace one. Let's just do a peace one. Wizard hat, heavy gauntlets, or studded leather. Do we think... The wizard hat? Between wizard or heavy gauntlets? Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Uh, maybe wizard. We could put something together over here. Come on, let's let's do the wizard and let's get a true fizz on or a true um, magic damage on there. The curial recurve plate boots. I think we gotta go dex. We're going dex. Torque Soul, Pavis, Shadowhood, they're all bad. I'm just going to do Torque for inventory. Uh, longsword, Salad, or Stiletto. I'm going to go Longsword. Being the fighter there, Stiletto is a pretty good option too. Badger Pendant, Leather Leggings, Ring of Wisdom. Uh, I'm going to go with the Ring of Wisdom and hope for a good roll. Hatchet, Peace, or Utility. Let's go with Peace again just for fun. 24 left. Warm all, peace or hatchet. That's an easy one. Peace. We had a lot of peace on this one. Drum, like all this occultist boots. We'll go occultist. 22. Watchman's cloak, buckled or leather gloves. I'm going to go with the leather gloves on epic. 21 left. Rondel dagger, wanderer attire, or troubadour outfit. Wanderer? I believe for bard, right? Over the troubadour? It's dex, right? I don't play bard, so. I think. I think that's the one we'll want to take. What does chat think? Yeah? Dex? Okay, let's go Wanderer Attire. Oh, for Rogue and Bard. Rip. There we are. Okay. Buckler. Feathered. Padded. We're going Padded on Epic. Laced. Vitality or Felling. We're going to go Laced on Green. Leather Bonnet. Old Shoes or Quickness. We're going Quick on Blue. Viking Sword, Occultist, Heavy Gauntlets. I go with Heavy. Heavy Gauntlets on blue. Low Boots, Forest or Plate Boots. Uh, go Low Boots, I guess. If the rolls are good, it could be nasty. Ranger Hood, maybe. Uh, kettle Hat, Top Helm, Wizard Shoes. I'm going to go with the wizard shoes on this one. Um, dark leather leggings, wizard hat, or occultist. Should we do a roll on dark leather leggings? People still run in dark leather leggings or no? Otherwise, the wizard hat. So dark leather leggings has fizz and magical damage reduction. Or like resistance, so like armor and, and magic armor. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Well, let's go to dark leather leggings just for fun. Troubadour outfit, hound skull, or dashing boots. I'm gonna go with the hound this time. Let's see how that goes. Next one up. Ardiche, finesse, or laced. Ooh, I like all of these. I think I'm leaning towards laced because if you do like lace turn shoes are pretty pretty good. Uh, Eleven halberd, um, low boots, hatchet, hatchets out of the question. Low boots or halberd? We're going to halberd. Oh, here we go. Miss the clubs. Lace turn shoes or warm all? We're going to go lace turn shoes on legendary. Come on, these could be bonkers. These could be insane. Looking forward to seeing those rolls. Crusader, dashing or crystal ball? Crusader, I guess. Eight left. We got Ring of Quickness, Chris Dagger, Champ Armor. We're gonna go with a Quickness, Agi Ring, seven left. Horseman's Axe, Peace, or Templar Armor. What do you guys think? We've had a few Peace rolls here. Or we could go with the Horseman's Axe. Some Barbarians running that with like a Bardiche, something like that. We could do Peace though, if Peace gets, you know, some health rolls on there. It could be pretty fat stacks with maybe some true damage. Templar armor, I believe, is will on it. I don't think I really want to go that direction. 
like an either horseman's or necklace of peace i feel like the necklace of peace is more well-rounded i think more it might be a bigger market than something specific of those two we're gonna go with the piece six left rat pendant visored or riveted we're gonna do riveted Spear, bear pendant, or crusader armor. I'm going to go with the crusader armor on this one. Horseman's axe, crusader helm, horse hood. I'm going to go with the crusader helm. Leather leggings, viking, studded leather. We're going to go with leather leggings. Kind of curious to see those. Loves the utility, four point hound skull. We're going to do utility just for fun. And last, buckler, troubadour, mystic. We're going to go mystic on that. Okay, take a look. It's a gold bag. <laughs> okay, next one. Magical power, 1.1 magical damage reduction. Okay. Is meh. Uh, crystal sword, magic pen, memory capacity, armor pen. Honestly, terrible rules. Uh, max health, additional memory capacity, magical interaction speed. Kind of a wash to max health is okay. Memory capacity. Eh. Uh, what do we got here? Studded leather, one will debuff casting. Wow, just terrible rules. Additional memory. Nope. Terrible. Uh, okay. 1.2 action speed with physical healing on the blue necklace of peace. Usable. Uh, long sword armor pen with debuff duration. Debuff duration is terrible. Dashing boots. Uh, physical damage reduction. Same with magical damage reduction and armor rating. Eh. Uh, necklace of peace. Magic damage reduction. Max health bonus and one true magical. Hey, not bad. Usable. For sure, 1.8 max health bonus, really nice. Nine health on the necklace of peace with a true magical roll. That's definitely usable. Definitely, definitely usable. Pretty decent rolls. I would obviously take the magical damage reduction and change it to something else, and it would have been really nasty. Uh, wizard hat, physical damage, or sorry, physical power, regular interaction, and one additional memory capacity. That interaction speed. Honestly, anytime that I see interaction speed, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really like it. Uh, let's check this one. Two strength, one physical power. Kind of a weird one. Ring of quickness, uh, 1.9 magic pen, 0.6 physical damage reduction. Eh. Uh, ring of quickness for a green, 0.6 action speed. I actually like that. Uh, the other necklace apiece, spell casting speed, interaction speed, and armor rating. Too bad that interaction speed wasn't something else like life. And that could have been decent. I mean, still usable, but... Uh, and then memory capacity with additional magic damage, seven health, eh. Uh, knowledge with the magical healing and regular interaction speed. I would have rather different interaction speed, but the magical healing is nice on the wisdom. Um, honestly, Torque Soul with one true magical damage is probably the best that it could have been for rolls. Now, I want to just, uh, quickly move this. Actually, I want to move this into here really quick. It's kind of in a weird tab. So I'm going to bring this over like so. And then we'll continue on looking. Okay, physical damage reduction on the occultist boots. Eh. Uh, leather gloves with resourceful armor rating and buff duration. Kind of bad in comparison of the pool of options. Lace turn shoes. Terrible roll. Magical interaction. Um, heavy gauntlets. Blue on rare. We got physical damage. Damage bonus 1.5 and 0.9 action speed with dex and and vigor on the uh, the base of it. Very usable. I definitely will be using those. Um, now I'm going to leave those uh, loose trousers to last. Mercurial cloak. Two magical power. One additional memory capacity. One true magic. You know, for a dex, that's pretty good. I think three magical power is the max. Uh, additional memory capacity. I can't remember if it's two or three. Could have been higher, but one true magical. Honestly, I, I like that. I like I like those rolls. Uh, what do we got? Wander attire. It's three mem cap. Thank you. Okay, wander attire. One knowledge, two strength, two physical power. Peace. I feel like the two strength, two physical power. Maybe the knowledge could have been something different. But even so, the knowledge, not bad. Could be used on a bard. But not a bad roll. Like the strength. With dex and fizz power. Maybe some life could have been sick. Padded leggings. Physical power 1. 10 armor rating and interaction speed. Of course, interaction could be different. Um, yeah, this wanderer attire is like pretty nice. I like it. 
Um, but yeah, these padded leggings could have went a little different. Pen armor rating is okay. Physical power is decent. Uh, we got low boots. Dex and strength on the roll of low boots. Kind of all over. The rounded boots. Wizard uh, buff duration. Magic resistance. Uh, dark leather leggings. One strength, 46 luck. Two action speed. Honestly, for like maybe a luck. It's, it's not. Eh, is what it is. Kind of in between two different directions. We got Hound Skull, 1% spell casting speed, uh, 0.9 physical damage reduction. What about the lace turn shoes? Here we go. We got two crappy rolls in there. Damn it. Uh, three if you include the luck, but two decks, man. Started off so good. Ah, oh, dang. Magical interaction speed and debuff duration bonus with the 23 luck. Obviously could have been a lot better. Still usable. Unfortunate. Uh, Will, one... Okay, five max health. Not bad. 1.4 damage reduction and one resourcefulness. The max health at five. Not a bad roll. Um, the other ones could have went a different direction. The PDR, not too bad. Uh, Crusader armor, one Agi, two magical healing and <laughs> regular interaction speed. The Agi and magical healing, not bad. The interaction speed is kind of a wash, but still usable. A decent uh, chest armor. Uh, the Halberd. Okay, two additional weapon damage. 4.5 debuff duration and armor pen at 4.8. The debuff duration, if this was different, this would be a pretty well-rounded uh, weapon, but honestly, very usable. Probably get a couple dollars for it. Uh, Lace turn shoes, agility 4, 2 strength, and 6.4 magical interaction speed. The two strength, not bad. Interaction speed of wash. Uh, Crusader Helm, we're looking at Agi and Dex. I really like the Crusader Helm for that reason. One true magical damage debuff and regular interaction speeds. Those two are a wash. The true magical, maybe use this on a cleric with, you know, holy strikes or something like that. But uh, honestly, I'll probably just use this on my fighter for now. Uh, two max health, 1.4 physical damage bonus for blue riveteds. East max health could have been higher. Uh, 1% physical damage bonus on utilities. That's kind of a wash. Resourcefulness on the Crusader Green. Meh. Uh, epic Mystic Vestments. We got one dex, 1.5 action speed, and 1.9 physical damage bonus. Um, decent rolls on them. How in demand is, uh, like, I wish you could get those rolls and carry them over to, like, a, like a physical damage chest not necessarily the will chest um but yeah I, I don't know maybe a warlock clerics could probably bang with that too i don't think i would really use that on the wizard unless well maybe bonk well not even bonk wizard because a lot comes from the magic the action speeds nice decks the swing i don't know about the druid but okay this is the loose trouser legendary loose trouser legendary here we go we left it until last if this is good rolls, this could be bonkers money. Here we go. Physical power, max health bonus, magical damage bonus, and the regular interaction speed. Obviously, the interaction speed could be different. The magical damage at 2.5, max health at 1.9. The physical power at 2. Yeah, you're going to kind of have like a caster blend, you know, melee kind of thing. Maybe like a warlock uh, in the... Uh, maybe a bard. Honestly, it's kind of it's a, it's in between two different directions. I mean, the max health and the physical power are good rolls for a decent amount of classes, but the magical damage bonus kind of puts it in a different direction. Regular interaction, like I said, is kind of a wash in general, but still usable. Unfortunate though, not GG rolls, but there it is. All right, well, let's uh, put that on over. Yeah, I just got to bring this over to the fighter. The fighter is going to wrap it up here at the end with everything. Put some over here. Okay, we'll go 
going to tab two now. We're almost done this entire session. We got one more class to go. Which is 37 rolls left out of 218 total. So far, one of the cooler items being the gold bag that we received. Not bad at all. Okay. Kind of slapping these in here. So again, all of this is going to be up on YouTube for anybody that uh, is looking for a summarization on all of this. 218 tokens. We're going to have a video out for this. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the wizard, bring over the last few items. Uh, already here. Character select, over to the fighter. Over to the stash here. I'm gonna just take this all out right now. Yo, what up, potent? Uh, cool games on the horizon. Um, Arena Breakout starts Tuesday. I'm gonna be playing a degenerate amount of that game. Kind of like a Tarkov, but a little bit better. Um, in my opinion. Okay. We're back. Now chat. This is the final. This character right here is the final out of 218 tokens. We got 37 left. Okay, here we go. 37. 37 reward tokens. Here we go. Opening it up. First one is Ring of Quickness, Chaperone, and the Low Boots. We're going to go with the Quickness Ring. Down with the Quickness. Marauder outfit, Chappelle, or fine. Curious. We're gonna go with the Marauder. Um Buckler, Regal, or Wizard Shoes. I'm gonna go with the Regal. 34 left. Come on, give us a chest. Leather gloves, club, drum. We're going leather gloves. Easy. Chest, no, wizard shoes. Uh grand or the recurve. Uh, wizard, I guess. Wizard shoes could be good. Uh, rogue spellbook or windless crossbow. Easy one for me. Spellbook. Okay, here we go. Spellbook, Barbuda, dark plate armor. We're gonna go spellbook again. Thirty. Could do dark plate. Runes. Uh, sorry, runestone. Top or spangin helm. I'm gonna go with the spangin helm. Runestones could be good with great rolls, but I don't run them too often. Uh, owl pendant. We're gonna go with that. Liar, Light Gauntlets, Radiant Cloak. We're going to go... Ooh, I like Light Gauntlets, too. Uh, uh, I feel like I should go the Radiant Cloak, but I'm going to use these gloves tomorrow, so I'm going to go with those instead. 27, Crusader Armor, Arming Sword, or Club. It's got to be Crusader Armor out of these three. That is an epic. Here we go. Next epic up. Here we go. Buckler, Warden, or Marauder. What do you guys think? Do we... Th uh, what do the Warlocks go? Are they using Wardens? I mean, Buckler could be pretty badass too. Like, Buckler has a high defense on impact. So, um, it's like one of the few that don't get super... Uh, how to say, like... Uh, dazed? Like, uh, I forget what the word I'm trying to think of. But if you like get hit with something big with the heater shield, it'll like go away for a second, take time to come back. Whereas the buckler shield uh, does not. Um, I really don't know on this one though. Warden or Marauder? Marauder could be pretty nutty too with the Agi. I forget what Warden rolls though. I forget. I don't use Wardens. I haven't played a Ranger in so long. Uh, maybe the Marauder could be good. Rogue Warlocks. Might not be the best decision, but I'm going with it. Oh my god. Not now. Give us time. We're almost done. Fuck. 
Please let me know if that continues, okay? Spam it in chat. Uh, next one up here, flute, drum, or padded leggings. We're going with padded leggings. Uh, next one here, 24. Rat pendant, warhammer, champ armor. We'll go champ armor out of those three. It's only green anyways. Spear, leather bonnet, or bear pendant. I feel like I should do the spear, but you know what? We're going to try the bear pendant. Why not? Um, champ armor, viking sword, occultist robe. Uh, champ armor out of those three. 21 left. Come on! Shadow mask, mystic vestments, or crystal ball. What do you guys think? Uh, immediately, I think... Stop it, Shaw. Gonna get really angry. Shout him out. Yeah, my internet is screwing up, dude. I just gotta try to be fast in between the windows that I see that it's working well. Shadow Mask, Mystic Vestments, or Crystal Ball? I don't... I feel like Crystal Ball, pretty much the Warlocks. Like, Wizard, I feel like you go Spellbook. You think Mystics? Mystics could be pretty banging. All right, let's try Mystic. I feel like I like the Shadow Hood, though. Um, Mystic Vestment. You know what? Mystics out of these three. Okay, uh, we're doing another one here. Arming Sword. Northern Full Tunic. Wander Attire. We're going to go with the Wander Attire. 18 left. Here we go. Occultist. Flanged or Turn Shoes. I'm going to do Boots, I suppose. 17 left. Buckler. Rawhide. Four point? <laughs> Rawhides. We're gonna go with that. Uh, Rondel. Warmall. Wizard Shoes. Ooh. I'm gonna go with Wizard Shoes. Uh, Rat Pendant. Magic Staff. Kettle Hat. Ugh. 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 Now let's do a Kettle Hat. Uh, Warden, Rawhide, Adventures. Okay, I'm between the Rawhide or the Adventure Boots. I think I'm going to go with the Adventure Boots this time, though. 13, Rapier, Kettle, or Flute. That's an easy one for me. The Rapier is going to be chose. 12, Survival, Great Helm, Windless. Oh, man. I'm going to go with the Great Helm on that, on Epic. Leather Chassois, Barbuda, or Drum. It's between the Leather or Barbuda. I think I'm leaning towards the Leather Chassois, though. Uh, 10 left. We got Adventure Tunic, Frost Amulet, or Heavy Gauntlets. I'm going to go with the Frost. Yeah, I mean, it's green. Uh, you know, it's between the Adventure or the Frost for me. Uh, recurve, Stitch, Turn, Shoes. We'll do Boots, I suppose. Uh, 8 left. What have we got? Dashing Boots, Flanged, or Crystal Ball. What do we think between the Mace or the Crystal Ball? 2 or 3, chat. What do we think? Crystal ball or flanged? We haven't done a crystal ball yet. We could we could check it. You think mace? Yeah, sure. Arm it. Zabumafu. Buckled boots. I'm gonna go arm it. Hopefully it's good rolls. Oracle robe, plate boots, adventure tunic. We're going the tunic. Templar armor, spangin helm, or a horseman's axe. I think all decent options. I think I'm going to go with the spangin helm, though. I'm liking that. Zabumafu, kettle, or forest. Mm. Uh, Zabumafu? We did a forest earlier. Kettle is kind of... I mean... I, on a cleric, like Kettle Hat. I just don't know if a lot of other people like it. Uh, Ranger Hood, I mean, it's kind of limited. I'm going to go with the Zaboomafu, I think. All right, let's do it. Flange, Rawhide, Longbow. I'm going to go with the Rawhides. Two more. Come on! Mystic Vestments 500 or a Ring of Survival. Well, that's an easy one. We're going Mystic. The last roll out of 218 class token rolls. This is going to be up on YouTube for anybody that wants to check out the whole the whole uh, haul. It's all up there. We haven't sold anything. We're going to go through and uh, do a quick mouse over of all the items as well here um, at the end. And uh, we're going to also roll some um, gold and silver tokens as well for the, uh, the little skeleton dude. So last one up. Here we go. 
Uh, we're gonna go wander tire on that. Dang. Dang, you know, I was very hopeful we might see a chest on 218, but I guess not. I'm not fortunate enough. Dang. But we did see a gold bag, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rules that we got on the last character. 218 total done. We got the ring of quickness, debuff duration bonus, and armor rating. Eh, not the best. Bear pendant, spell casting speed, buff duration, true magical damage. Okay, I'm at least happy that the true magic damage with spell casting speed kind of paired up. Now, the reason why people like to go um, uh, ring of, uh, sorry, the the peace amulet over bear pendant is there is um, diminishing returns. So uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while since I've looked at the actual wiki to see where they are. And I can't remember. It's 18, I think. Um, so you get a certain amount um, up to certain breakpoints. So you hit different breakpoints. And then that one attribute stops giving you as much life um so it's like three up to a certain amount two up to a certain amount and then it's one after that so the piece because with bigger gear you might run a bigger break point that you won't be able to utilize the whole benefit of the bear pendant um for the actual hp roll but you could tailor your entire build to kind of work around that so you do uh, benefit max from the three vigor otherwise max health rolls or percent the max health is uh, what people want to go so uh really like this green amulet honestly 1.9 action speed with one true fizz that's nasty for a green in my opinion um very nice uh resourcefulness and max health roll on the marauder outfit you know max health decent resourcefulness not really my go-to uh regal gambison with one knowledge and 2.3 physical damage bonus honestly i would like to see that knowledge something different and this would actually be pretty banging for a fizz physical damage user um, and then we got uh, Leather Gloves with the two Agi physical damage reduction and regular interaction speed at 5.9. Uh, you know, the damage reduction is okay. The agility is really nice paired up with the decks on the gloves, um, but that interaction speed could have been something different. We also have the Wizard Shoes here. Two strength, 1.6 magical damage bonus. Uh, too bad the strength wasn't something different and this was kind of on the right track. Got two knowledge uh, pendant here, regular interaction, memory capacity, kind of a budget item. Not gonna really do anything fancy. Not gonna go home and tell your parents. Uh, magical power with 0.6 max health bonus on the rapier. Uh, kind of a weird roll. The max health bonus is always nice. Spell book though, magical healing and two magical power. Good rolls for a blue spell book. Could have been a little bit higher on the rolls, but overall good rolls. Uh, debuff duration and max health bonus. Okay, so 1.5% max health bonus. Decent debuff duration. Honestly, I just don't like seeing interaction buff or debuff duration bonus. I find that they're too niche of rolls, so they're kind of a wash when you see that, but the max health is decent. Like gauntlets, we got the agility and strength with knowledge and physical power. It's kind of all over the place, all in one. Yeah, either class could really use it. Uh, Spangin' Helm, 2.8. Magic pen with 0.7 physical damage reduction. Again, kind of weird rolls, but I still like uh, Spangin' Helms or however you say. Uh, okay, over to here. Crusader armor, one Agi, six max health. That is a max roll and two magical power. Not bad. I think this is usable. The magical power could work for some holy strikes. I can't remember if Judgment is classified divine. Power. I can't remember which one it is. Is it Judgment or if it's Smite off the top of my head? Um, but the agility, decent uh, movement speed and all that jazz. I like those. Uh, this could be used. Marauder. Uh, we got one Vigor, uh, 1.5 physical damage reduction and um, magic resist. Not the best rolls. Could be a lot better. Uh, 1.4 projectile damage reduction to memory capacity. Eh. Champ armor with two will. Green. Eh. Uh, here we go. Champ armor with magical interaction. 1.6 action speed and 48 luck. Honestly, use this as a luck build. Something like that. Always a fan of the action speed, but... Uh, meh. <clears throat> okay, Mystic Vestments. Uh, interaction speed at 15%. That's a high roll. I think that's maybe max. Uh, two physical power and two magical healing. I think a warlock might... Might use this. This with uh with their normal helm. Altist helm. It could be pretty pretty decent. It'll move for something. Just not sure how much off the top of my head. 
Uh, kettle hat, two memory capacity with four armor rating. Could be better, but if you need a lot of memory capacity with the knowledge there, it would pair up decent. Uh, magic and physical... All right, next up, the wizard shoes here. We got magical damage and f physical damage reduction. Honestly, not the best debuff duration. Kind of a wash on all three uh, affix rolls here for the wizard shoes. Uh, onto the rawhides, projectile damage reduction, additional physical. Uh, not really my go-to rolls for the rawhides. Uh, onto the turn shoes here. We got two resourcefulness, additional memory capacity. Again, to me, kind of wash of a roll. Uh, adventurer boots, 1.2 percent move speed and three max health i actually really like these max health could be higher uh move speed i think caps at 1.5 1.5 so not bad overall honestly really nice i'll use those on uh, the fighter uh great helm we got uh physical damage bonus at one percent we got magic pen and fizz power magic pens a wash physical damage bonus and fizz power do go hand in hand um kind of conflicts a little bit with the knowledge but honestly be pretty decent for a cleric in my opinion uh, leather chassois, let's look. Two memory capacity, uh, four max health, one fizz power. You know, the max health memory capacity, not too bad, depending on what you need for your build. Physical power could have been something different, um, but still usable. Leather chassois, uh, I really like them for casters. Uh, stitch, stitch turn shoe, doesn't really matter. Magic damage reduction. The Zubumafu, I don't know if I'm blocking this. Uh, two strength, two will, 1.1 debuff duration. The strength and the will. You know, the strength is decent for that. The will and the debuff should be something different, IMO. Um, over to these Mystic Vestments. We got one dex, two fizz power, 4.3 debuff duration bonus. Those feel very close to the ones up. Where was the other one? We have another one in the session that makes me feel that these are close. But uh, physical power, dexterity, debuff duration could have been better rolls. Uh, Wander Attire, 2 Strength, 1.9 Spell Casting. The 2 Strength is decent. Spell Casting could have went a different direction. I can't remember if Spell Casting is, in fact, associated with the songs, or if that's only, uh, resourcefulness. I, I can't exactly remember. Uh, Spangin Helm, uh, Buff Duration, Magic Pen, and Magic Resist. Honestly, kind of shit rolls for this. I'm a little sad, but I will still use it. Uh, Adventures Tunic, uh, two Vigor and debuff duration at 4.5. The Vigor is an okay roll. Uh, would have rather have seen two different ones, though. Armit, two Agility, Magical Interaction at three Armor Rating. Uh, again, the Agility, I like that, but the other two would have liked to have seen something different. Uh, Rawhides, we had 0.7 Action Speed and 1.1 Physical Damage Bonus. See, this is what needs to be on, like, the Armit or on the Spangin' Helm and switch these around if possible, but honestly, you can still use it. And then the Flange Mace, um, okay, interesting. Uh, one additional weapon damage, one Fizz Power, and one additional memory capacity. That memory capacity is kind of a wash, but the physical damage and additional weapon, um, is functional there, so, um, overall, that is all the rules. 218 in total. Uh, thanks for watching the 218 class tokens. We'll do this again next season. We'll also do lots of Gamba here on uh, live stream with the Goblin Merchant. Um, honestly, do not forget to do this. It does cost you a little bit of gold and it is a bit of a gold dump. But honestly, you can get some really decent items. Not this time, but you can go through on your Goblin Merchant and uh, take a look at your characters and see what you might want to gamble for. And then the other thing right now, they have a seasonal event with this skeleton um, and you can go ahead and spend um, not only gold, but you can spend silver uh, skull tokens, which we have a bunch that we'll probably do here live on stream as well and go fart around with what we can uh, get from here. But some cool ways to get some additional um, gear anywhere from the reward tokens to the goblin merchant. Uh, we'll be doing that and then coming down the road, like I said, a lot of arena breakout content. We have tons of YouTube content, tips and tricks for that game coming down the pipe. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.